this is E. Matthews Jet, and I'm going to show you a review on my quarter scale pro stock. This car I built it. That's me, Ernest Matthews. I built it in '93. The car I used to race it. I stopped running it because uh, I used to run in a Floyd Bennett Field. And after a while, the Pro Stock uh, quarter scale cars, they stopped running because uh, guys disappeared. And once everybody disappeared, they stopped running. And then they brought in... Uh, they brought in the HPI Bajas, uh, fully modified. They made Draxes out of them. And because they were running uh, fifth scale cars... I chose not to keep on running this, so I pulled out of the race. Uh, we're in uh, we're in 2020. So I put this together. Uh, the car was put out by New Era Models. It's a kit, even though it's got a lot of uh, homemade parts made by me. About two or three years ago at uh, Secaucus uh, Expose, they had the Ram show and I displayed the car. Uh, I came in uh, first place. And some guys from uh, Long Island, they saw this car and they were doing a video with their own cameras at the uh, at the Ram Show in Secaucus, and did a, they did a review on this car. I don't know the guy's name, but they're running a what is it called? Motion RC, something like that. They're running like these uh, HPI Bajas clones. Real nice guys from Long Island. Well, if you guys are watching my video, I'm the owner, E. Matthews Jet. I built this car back in uh, '93. Uh, the wheelie wheels are all homemade. The spoilers homemade. I did the interior homemade. I, I made like so many parts for this car. So the reason why I'm filming this. Because I'm going to take the car apart pretty soon. And I'm going to go over the whole car. And re-put it together. Like this glass is old. And it's cracked here. Got a crack there. I got to get rid of that. I'm going to put new glass. New paint. I'm going to put a new remote. I used to have a PCM Futaba. You know, PCMs haven't been around for a while. So I removed all the electronics. Went in the servos. The servos, I'm going to upgrade them myself. I'm going to break them apart. And, you know, go through them. The servos pretty, uh, pretty much never go bad. Unless you bang the car or the plane. Uh, the engine is a Quadra 50. Uh, this is the motor that was... Uh, uh, New ever had like three to four motors. This was like their pro race motor back then. And the speed of the car is in the 50s to 55. Even though uh, uh, these guys were doing 60 and 70 miles. But they were running different motors. And other than that, they were leaning the crap out of the engines. They were leaning it to death even if the motor blew up. You know, they didn't give a crap. Uh, these rims were made by New Era. When New Era started making these rims, I'm one of the first guys to get these rims. And the disc brakes. They also made the disc brakes. The car got all four-wheel disc brakes. It's got a differential in the back. I don't know if you can see the disc brakes under there, but they're in there. The car's got disc brakes. You just can't see them. In. All this other nonsense blocks it. So the car's got disc brakes in the back, and it's got disc brakes in the front. Let's go to the front of the car. You see the same setup you see in the front. 
the setup for the uh, rear, but you know, setup for the differential. It's got brake calipers, it's got everything. Uh, it was a very expensive car to put together. In the early 90s, uh, the plane kit was 1700 bucks. Uh, that's without the rear, the, without the quick change differential. And, and it came with a lower budget motor. Uh, but I ordered the car with a bigger motor and the differential. So the car came out a lot more expensive. Later on, I added the rims and the disc brakes. I did the rear, the uh, the interior myself, and cause I'm running a full fiberglass body, I did. It's got a fan setup, so air goes in through here, and the fan pushes it into the motor. It pushes it right into this, and this car is pretty much new because uh, even though I raced the car, it doesn't have a lot of runs compared to a lot of cars at the track at the time. Uh, this is the the pipe the new ever made for me. The header comes right through the side. It peeks through the body here. Uh, the car is a Pontiac uh, Firebird. I don't know what year this car is, the Firebird body. But the car is complete. I'm going to lower. Uh, I made the spoiler. But close through the years, it's got dents and stuff. So I'm going to put on new. Once I do the whole body, I'm going to do a new spoiler. Uh, this part right here didn't come with the car. I made it myself. I welded. I bended everything myself because I know how to weld. I do have welding machines. I do weld. Let me drop this. Oh, plus I made the funny, the funny car hitch. This is the same setup that they had on funny cars. Same hitch. I, I made it for the model. Let me. I'm using the phone. I gotta hold the phone because I gotta take this pin. Stand out. So, on, like on the funny cars, look, you pull it back and it locks right in place. And that body won't come up. This car going to fly down the track and that body ain't going anywhere. So, this is the car. This is a quarter scale Firebird made in 1993 and we're in 2020. This is a big car. This car's taking my whole living room. I'm like standing, scraping everything around me, trying not to bump into shit, because that's how big this car is. So this is a quarter scale pro stock put up by New Era. Even though 55 miles is not a high speed, but back then, you know, this was going pretty fast. And then after that, all these other cars, they started, uh, Chopping up their blocks, leaning the crap out of their engine, changing different fuels. And, you know, even though they were running faster, but they were blowing their engines pass after pass. You know, I saw a guy show up with two or three motors just to keep on running for the day, cooking the crap out of their cars. And they felt like they were the badass on the block. And they went home with all their engines burnt. And their piston sleeves burnt and their cars twisted to shit. I saw a lot of cars go out of control but not this one I actually rolled this car once uh, uh, I did a solo pass because on the day that I was I, I rolled this car I did a solo pass I was working on the car it had a fuel problem and I fixed it and when I did my pass the car did so good but at the end I don't know what the fuck happened it just decided to roll on its side but it didn't crack the body, it just put a couple of scuffles. So I sanded, I fixed it with putty and repainted the whole car. So this car is on its third paint job and it's going to be soon on its fourth paint job. This is a, a real miniature Pro Modified. So it's got front and rear disc brakes. It's got a clutch, the motor has a clutch. And it's got a professional clutch because back then, uh, the guys from New Ever and I, because we knew each other, I used to go to their shop, and we were working on a clutch setup that would, uh, when I pull, yanked the, the throttle, the clutch would grit. 
uh, when Nuevas first designed this car, the clutch was weak, so the car was pulling out like slowly and then picking up speed. But once uh, them and I, we got together, uh, we set up the clutch, the car would just yank from the line, and I got extra pads, I got extra shoes, I got extra shit for this car that would run under the same uh, setup. Uh, let me go get the hood. I want to get the hood. Let's get the hood. Yeah, so I'm looking forward. I, I wanted to do this job a while back to take the car apart and strip it and, you know, redo it and repaint it. But I'm busy because I fly planes and I run boats. I also own a couple of Harleys. You know, I'm in this hobby. Look, I fly planes. I got a lot of planes here. So it's not easy keeping up with everything. Even though for the past almost two years I didn't fly a plane. Uh, I, I spent the past two years traveling with my girl. Her and I, we've been everywhere on, on the Harley. So instead of uh, messing around with the planes in the car... Uh, we decided to travel, and that's pretty much what I did. I've been traveling all over. That's the scoop. This is a huge car. You need to be here to see this in person. This is a big, and I mean a big quarter scale car. So it's got full suspension. The chassis is made out of chromoly tubing. It's the real metal they use for NASCAR and drag cars. The body's fiberglass. This is not a Lexan, Lexan plastic body. This is a real miniature drag car. Doesn't get better than this. This is it right here. I love this car. I've had a couple of guys offer me good money. I mean... I, I was offered money so good that I can get a decent used Harley for what I was offered this car, and I always turned it down. I said, listen, man, I don't need your cash. You know, I work. I make my own money. I don't need this to sell this car to buy a Harley. I've always owned a Harley. Right now, I got four Harley Davidsons. Actually, I got three Harleys and one Yamaha. Yamaha. I have a V-Star Yamaha that's like a Harley. Okay, I actually call it Yamaha Harley. That's what I call it. This is tight. This is a tight spot, so I got to move around. Yeah, so this is my uh, Pro Mod Pontiac Firebird. Uh, the car was made in uh, two in '93. Uh, by New Era, and I built it, I worked with them, they, you know, he passed away, I don't know if his wife is still alive, I know the kids took over the company, but they killed the company because the kids didn't know what the fuck to do with New Era, you know, I believe they still have a lot of parts in stock, I want to like, reach them someday, and see what, what stuff I can pick up from them, Ugh. I sat down, let me get up again. You see it's got a lot of scratches. That's from the car sitting around. But the body's intact. There's no cracks. Nothing's cracked here. The car's complete. There's a complete fiberglass body. You see I want to fix that. I want to put like light putty and fill all those little edges out. Sand it all down. I made these wannabe lights because this car didn't come with this. When you buy the kit and it comes in the box, uh, the glass is not cut out, the windshield and the rear mirror is not cut out, the wheel wells is not cut out, and I cut out the hood myself. I have never seen another Nuera Pro Stock uh, with, without the hood, with the hood being cut out. I made all the hinges and they got pins. I got all the pins to lock the hood down. If you look at it, you see the you can put pins on it. Just like a full-size drag car. These are quarter-scale servos. They're metal gear. Uh, back in the early 80s and the 90s, they were making metal gear servos. I don't know if they're still doing them for quarter-scale. Maybe they are, but 
Los afutaba high to quarter scales of servos. This is an awesome car, man. Right now the car is full of dust. I didn't even clean it. I just took it out of from over there to move it here to see what I got to do to it because soon I'm going to strip this car down. You know, and the hood, the scoop, I'm going to lower it a little bit more. So I'm, I'm going to be cutting off like a half an inch to drop the hood off, and drop the scoop down a half an inch. So the car is going to have pretty much the same paint job, but this part here is going to be yellow. Because I, here, I need to show you. These are my other cars. Look at the paint job I'm trying to do. You see these paint jobs? You see? These are my RC team colors. You see that? So that's what I want to do with that car. I want it to be yellow with the blue and red just like this. Those are the colors that I uh, choose. I chose to do all my cars. I got the, you see the associated, it's got the race colors. I got a couple of more around here. I got this one here, you see the race colors on my truck. Here, I got it also on my buggy. I got other cars in the room because even in my bedroom I got cars. Here's my Baja, it's got the same paint job that I'm gonna do to the quarter scale. See it there? I got another truck there with the same paint job. That's the Associated Monster GT, all modified. Ugh. See it? So that's what I want to do. This is an awesome buggy. It's all modified. And this is this is not the uh, that fucking company that's cloning uh, these cars. This is the HPI Baja, the real deal, all modified. So yeah, I want to do this paint job on the quarter scale drag car. So okay, so the next time you see this car is gonna be all painted and redone with new spoiler, new everything. It's gonna have new remote, new fuel tank. I'm gonna. I gotta put a new uh, throttle servo. I gotta get rid of that throttle servo. I'm gonna repolish the rims. I'm gonna pull out the quick change rear, open it, put new oil in it, seal it up again. Uh, the car has a, a parachute, so this is this car has a working parachute. I got the parachute put away. Uh, the parachute was done by a lady. The, this lady, she made like uh, tailored pants and tailored shirt. This woman, uh, she did like a lot of serious clothing. And I asked her if she could do a parachute for me. So she asked me to bring her a picture and the dimensions. I drew more or less a plans of schematics of what I wanted. And I got her umbrella material and she built me a parachute. With paracord cables that I got put away. Another day I'll show it to you. Yeah, this is me, E. Matthews Jet. I've been in the hobby since the early 80s. I've been flying RC planes, running RC cars. I run RC boats. I got boats all over the house. I got motorcycles. I play guitar. I'm not a professional guitar player, but I know how to play. You know, I ain't no fucking bad handling, but I know how to play guitar. I got guitars all over the house. Yeah, I got a Fender right there. I own three Fenders. I own Gibsons. I got Gibsons Les Paul, Gibsons uh, uh, SG. I have all types. I got Ivanez guitars. If you look for E. Matthews Jet uh, Bicycle Engine Part 6 on this plane, it'll show you the whole video of my shop. So look for it when you're on YouTube. Remember, E. Matthews Jet Bicycle Engine Part 6.
And those, you see them over there? Those are not more small planes. Those are big planes. Yep. So this is it. I don't want to turn this car because I don't want to drop it from where it's at. All I need is for this car to fall from up there. While I'm filming. That'll make a nice video of me killing my own quarter skill. Pro modified. Okay, this is E. Matthews Jet. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like this video. This is actually uh, one of the cars that ran at Floyd Benefield in Brooklyn. Uh, when all the real RC cars were racing there before all these new jacks came in. Like all these new guys, they're all running uh, their, their uh, what do you call that? HPI Baja style uh, homemade dragsters. Uh, before these guys came in, this is the cars we were running. We were all running quarter scales. Uh, all the old guys that ran quarter scales, they know me and I know all the old guys. I'm not going to mention names because too many of them. But this is this is one of the original cars from Floyd Benefield uh, running drag racing quarter scale drag cars. Okay, I hope you like my video. Uh, give me thumbs up. Uh, this car is a historical car because it's, it's a car that goes all the way back to Floyd Bennett Field, Brooklyn. It ran a lot. It was a good running car until all these new jacks came in and I pulled the car out. Okay, E. Matthew Jet, thank you. Signing out. See you guys on the next video. And I'll be coming back with the car with a new paint job, full modified, new remote, new everything. Thank you.